dumbass fucking so, list. Like, what's the criteria for these stupid ass list? <laughs> like, come on, man. They didn't stop making. Not niggas didn't stop making these fucking stupid ass lists. Nah, you need to start making your own. Nah, just because it's so subjective. My list ain't gonna be your list. Your list ain't gonna be his list. Depends on the criteria. Your family, right? But at least, but even in with criteria, niggas still slipping in shit in there. Yeah, don't fit criteria. But that's right. how you, you know, know who certain, you get the fuck out of the pain. situations, like, niggas gonna be biased. You're now in a conversation you don't belong in. You can't stick to the criteria, it's time to go. Yeah. Nah, yeah. You just told me what you're saying. You just told me who it is. It's subjective, bro. Nah, it's not always sure subjective. You're, you're but here's the thing, it is, because you can't just make, you can't just make a hip-hop list on criteria alone. You can't just say it's on record sales and on fucking number one singles. Right. They got fucking MTM on the list. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's okay. So you no, can't no, no. do stop, it that stop. way. That's one specific and criteria. Then, and then other people get left off the list that were early in the game. They don't have no accolades. But that, that's right. why that's why my criteria wouldn't revolve around sales at all. But it has to. That has no, to be part of it, no, it too. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Of course no, it, it does. does. No, it that has to be part of it, too. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That has to be part of it. No, it doesn't. Because if that's not? not part of it, then it becomes Ow. all subjective. Fact. No, it doesn't. Of course yes, it, it does. does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it because does. there's no, no fucking metrics. There's nothing else concrete, bro. There's plenty the numbers concrete. Are concrete. No, you need no, numbers. You need metrics to say, yo, this nigga sold, or this nigga had this many number ones, or this. You have to have some metrics. This, this, this concept, that concept is why these lists keep getting made and why you're so angry about it now. No, 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 no. That, that, no, no, no that's no, no, this no, where it's no, coming no, from. No, like, this why, this no, why you're not. so no, disgusted no, no, no. over no, yesterday. No, no, no. I'm saying they someone... didn't stop making the list because it's all subjective. And I'm telling you, it's the that's list, why. The list I'm is just a conversation it's, it's just a conversation. It should be a conversation piece. Uh, you can't make a list. Not, not nobody in here would make the same list. Okay. Not nobody. Okay. But, right. Yeah. That's facts. There's going to be a certain amount of niggas that's on everybody's list. Yeah, but some people, some people's taste is shit. Like, you shouldn't be in this group. Some people's taste is shit. Like, you know, I right, cool. You got your opinion, but... Uh, yeah, like no, nah, that's that's definitely not true. I've I, I've. It's hard, been, man. It's not easy, yeah. but it's it possible. It it's, it's hard. Now, if we all easy, sat there right now trying to make a list, nigga, we would be arguing like a motherfucker, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fun part. Man. That's the fun part. <coughs> I worked in the house of this shit. I saw it. <coughs> <in the house. coughs> it's not impossible. It's definitely. <laughs> Yeah, okay, everybody can't be in the conversation. Yeah, bumping that Vinny 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 album, bro. That's a classic. It's a great album. Great album. Yeah. Classic. We got gotta a classic. I need to change up my shit. Niggas, you recording? Remember Tower Records? It's great. Tower Records, yeah. I used to yeah, steal CDs out of that. This nigga is a crook. Steal CDs out of that motherfucker. This nigga's stupid. Same goodies and all of that. Nobody beats the Wiz. That's what Russ used to do on top of Tower Records. This Rolling. nigga stupid. Yeah. HMV, 42nd Street. That was the yep. battleground. I smoked mad niggas in front of that. That's how Mike yeah. Kaiser got his job. Kaiser, shut Michael up Kaiser, Kaiser used to work at Tower Records. Wow. Mm. Russell used to come downstairs and see him all the time. Gave him a fucking job. Yeah, Russell going through a lot right now. Yeah, he going through shit. None of that shit. I know a lot of hip hop history. I've been a part of a lot of crews. I've been a part of a whole lot of shit. It's wrong. West Coast shit with fucking with Shug, you know, and, uh, and the yeah. rough road niggas. Mm. So, you know, Rough Riders, Rockefeller, Murder, yeah, but even my niggas, fucking Prince and, and, and Rap a lot, all them niggas down there. Yeah. Mm. So, we were saying before we left off, lot. we was about to get to it. Niggas ain't ready for real talk. Facts. Niggas don't want to. Niggas no, don't that's, want to. That's what this platform is about. It's real talk. Want what's the, don't according, want to. According, according to Ja Rule, what's do? the fact? Yeah, see, when you started right there, it's the, according, according to Ja Rule. Yeah, what's not, the fact? Not, okay, not according, according to Ja Rule. What's the fact? This is just, I mean, what do you want facts on? Whatever you was about to tell us before we had to break. So now we got to dig back. All right, so, so rewind. All right, boom. You at the top of the game. Yeah. Relationships start changing. People start yeah. fucking with people that you don't fuck with. You had a battle, you had a diss record that was 
ugly that you don't even like to that talk about. That was more about memorable than other lines from the ops. All right. <laughs> let, 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 let's, you just remember where you was going? Hold on, hold on. Did you just remember? That's my opinion, right? It's all subjective. Did you just remember? Let's start here. Yeah. What was the... What was... Once you hear the flicker. Mm. Ah. Another artist out of Queens. Makes it this record. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Real talk, I really don't know, man. Jealousy. You, you ever rewind it and be like, did I? I, I of, of course I have. Of course I have. But you got to ask yourself this question. Was it a real diss record or was it just for clock? Right? I mean, what was the last, the previous diss record was for about every rapper. To everybody. Right. Had a rock. Mm. Mm. Now, mm. I'm going to go, you know, everything you throw at me, I'm going to ask the real questions. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's re all. Reportedly. Yep. Yeah. I've heard that 50 was slighted. He felt slighted because you were getting the support from people that he knew for years. And he who, who are these people? Who are you, Prem and these things? That's, that's, okay. They don't ask Prem? They don't know this nigga like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He was, you know, he was, he was dealing with <coughs> Uncle Chaz, rest in peace. Rest in peace, mm -hmm. Chaz. Rest in peace. Love Chaz. But he was dealing with Chaz. And that was- In black, know, correct? Yeah, yeah, black hand. Yeah. But that was, you know, that was, his, and, and and he was signing, or supposed to be signing JMJ. Yeah, right. But that was the situation. You know, that was his situation. Did y'all know each other before all this shit? That's not, that's a good question. Yeah, we do. We do. So here's the crazy shit. I used to go over to Jam Master J studio when he was signed to Jam J right. because Black Child was over there and he was also signing right. to Jam J. Right. So I'd go over there and, you know, go see my nigga Black. And, you know, I was already on. I had a record deal with my nigga's cash when he clicked. You know, so he used to be in there and shit. He used to, you know, kick it with me. I just, I'm framing yeah, I mean, this. It, I'm framing it, this. I'm framing it. Right. I'm framing it for y'all. Is, is there a 50 Cent yeah. Ja Rule record someplace? He used to want to do a record with me. And what did you say? The record never got done. I didn't have nothing against him. Right. But this record just never got done. Why? So, Why, Ja? Nigga, like, I'm busy. I'm running around. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, doing things. I'm trying to make things out. There's no slight to nobody. Just, right. It just didn't happen, you know what I'm saying, uh, or whatever. It just never happened. Time it never worked out. Right, you know what I'm saying? But right. yeah, I was asked to do a record, you know, and it just never happened. So you so, could so have cool. come off like you were No, we was never cool. Yeah, was never yeah. cool. I don't know him like that. No, right. It's just, you know, like I said, I used to come over there into the studio. Black child was my nigga. I go see Black. They in there, you know. Yo, what's up, let's do, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's, all right, cool. Just never manifest. Okay. Do you think that if I'm you, framing it? Do you so think that if you, did the, it? if you did the record, you think things would have been different? That's <laughs> <laughs> man. Come on, man. I'm just asking. I don't know, man. Like I don't know. Like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Cause you know what it sounds like. In all these situations, tell me what it sounds at like. At one point, you. somebody's the underdog, and they see somebody. We both them. underdogs. Cash Money Click wasn't no blown up motherfucker. No, dude. I mean, uh, did, even to you, me and Jay and and X, and you already having a deal. Yeah. And then them becoming the premier artist on Def Jam, and you fighting your way to get mm. to, to 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 where they at or above. Right. It's always a motivation of of uh, I want to get there. 
I feel that. I get that. So I understand that. Is there ever a point where you're at the top and you're like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta feed these niggas down here because they gonna come for me. Here's my dream. I'm different. This is why I didn't like stick up niggas and rob niggas. I wasn't into that shit. Right. I'd rather go on the corner and hustle for my Right. Because I'm an honest fucking thief. I'm an honest <laughs> Right. You understand? Some niggas feel like they got to drag a nigga down to pull their way up. I don't. I'm never that nigga. But, I'm, a, I'm a shining star, nigga. You can't dim my light. I don't give a fuck what you try. But you know why? But here's the thing. I, I get it. Crabs in a barrel. It's not, not necessarily but not crabs, crabs in a barrel. barrel. Crabs are supposed to be in a barrel. A nigga but drowning. Is, if you try to save I, I a nigga drowning, it, what's going to happen? But this is what, but here's what we're dealing with. I'm trying to... I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm Paint the picture. It. Paint the picture. This is how I felt about the whole situation. I, as I see them coming up. As an artist, I didn't feel it when I was a creative, because the creative, it's creativity to me. It was all, as we would say today, clout chasing. I'm going to shit on this, 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 and this guy so people will recognize him. That's what I seen as music as, as he started to grow as an artist. Right. It was but all you, shock value. You didn't like it in him? No, I didn't care about it until he took aim at me. Right. But it was all the same shit. So when I see him, but you I just did a show him. with somebody who came up the same way. You know what I want? Who? KRS One. I didn't. I, it's not. That's not what I know. Right. I, I didn't know KRS. Listen, I didn't know KRS One not to make hit records before he started getting into battles and beefs. Mm. So wait, the bridge is the, over. Was <clears throat> that was he, he didn't. He didn't have big records before the bridge. That, that wasn't his set off. That wasn't. He didn't have big records before the bridge over. He I, was in a rap battle beef. Right. This was this man's set off. This was his whole plan, structure is to, this is how I'm a gonna attention. Right. He said this to me at his own mouth. He, he told him. you the plan. <laughs> Not oh, the oh. plan. <laughs> Bro. Not the plan. Look. I listen, man. Listen, 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 listen. Right. We first had our first encounter in Atlanta. We had a talk. Uncle Chaz came to me and said, yo, homie about to pull up. Would you and him have a conversation? I said, all right, cool. We have a conversation. And when we had a conversation, this is what the nigga was saying. Yo, it's just a record. You know, I'm just trying to get out there. That's what the nigga saying to me. This one you had the back. Chump shit. Whack shit. Pardon me. <laughs> That's whack shit. I'm a real, I'm a real artist, nigga. I know I'm a real nigga. This is whack to me, nigga. I don't give a fuck. We're gonna we gonna talk about it. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I and I and I and I know what niggas is gonna say at home while we talking about this 30 years later. I don't want to talk about this. My niggas right here want to talk about this. So we're going to talk about it. Right. So, I don't, to me, that's not a real artist. It's not a real man. It's not a real digger. You know what I'm saying? To, to want to pull down other niggas to pull yourself up. That ain't my style. If, you, if you're ill, if you're ill nigga, <laughs> go make your records, your hit records, nigga, and shine. Why do you consider it, it pulling? He does it with everything he does. But if I'm he saying, does it, hold on. If he does a fucking uh, 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 his, his film shit, he got to pull down uh, 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 the other shit that was going on. Uh, what, what was the shit? Empire. 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 You know what I'm saying? He got to like, nigga. We all black people getting money, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about, stupid? This is what's wrong with this nigga. It's cool because a lot of people <laughs> they gravitate towards that mentality. Why? They gra- how do you I think they know. do? I don't know. I don't know. Because that's just not the way I am. I, I'm just saying for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, right. I wasn't, I didn't like stick up mentality. I'm right. going to go on the corner and get mine. Like I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this is what he says to me out of his own mouth. What was your response? So I said, <laughs> this is how we got right into the, to the action. My response wasn't what, what, what he was expecting. I was like, nigga, that shit is whack. You a sucker, and that's some fucking sucker shit. And bop, bop, bop. And this is what we was getting into. Right. Well, the record ain't going nowhere. 
So then we get into our, you know, right. our thing. It's, yo, listen, man, I'm the only nigga in this motherfucking rap industry that can say they put hands and feet on the big bad bully. How you the bully and the victim at the same time? Because when niggas talk about our fucking history and our beef with 50 Cent, all I hear is niggas say, well, if niggas try to get me shot, or if niggas had something to do with getting me shot, or if niggas did this and that to me, I'd, I'd fucking have a problem with them for the rest of my life too. Mm -hmm. So if we did all of this and did all of that, how we, how we, how, how I'm the, how I'm the, how I'm the, you know, just ask questions, I'm just framing it. But I'm just framing it. allegedly, we don't know none of that. You dig what we I'm do saying? know this. This is what we do know. Right. You like battle rap? This, I love oh, battle rap. You love battle rap? I love rap. battle rap. This is what we, we do Would know. you consider him a battle rap? 50. No. Why not? I would consider him a clout chaser. But hold on. Oh, oh, I want to hear this. This is what we do know. This is what we do know about the history of our shit. If... <laughs> this is a... Yeah. If, if I'm the... All right, the, the rumor is or the word is that I'm supposed to be scared of him or we murder ain't gonna scared of the Juju and the true or whatever the case is, right? We, we, who, this who, is spread, what, who spread this rumor? I, I, him, you know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> him, you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck else? He right. spread the whole, he spreads the rumors. Well, but yeah. if this is the rumor, right? I'm gonna ask everybody in the room. What nigga you know that's scared of a nigga or don't want no problems with the nigga on him that goes looking for the nigga in his studio session? Mm. I'm just asking the question. I was in question for me. I'm just asking. I'm asking anybody I'm question. question for me. Who, 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 how, how am, am, am I the, uh, or am I the, you know, supposed to be the scary nigga if, I go looking for the nigga that I have a problem with and handle my problem. When you handle your problem, do you sue y'all? Yes. How much money? Absolutely. How much money do you get? Him. He sued, I'm going to tell you that story too. He sued us. Yayo also sued us. Um, I think there was another gentleman in the room I think that sued us too. And all of them got paid except for 50. He got his record deal. He pulled out of the lawsuit. If he didn't get a record deal, he stayed in the lawsuit. Got paid. Got some money. Bro. But you would not consider him a battle rapper. Because I always thought it funny. That you think he, he's a battle rapper? He ended up with somebody who potentially was doing the same thing. Just baiting people. Who? M. M I, I think, had I a think lot got, of people's got, names I, I, in his earliest shit. He, he did it, but it's different. How? Because M did it comical, fun. It was different. You know what I'm saying? M, M, M did it like, like, it wasn't the same. Was it wasn't malice in it. Yeah. It wasn't threatening. Yes. And, and he did it with pop stars. He wasn't. You know it saying? wasn't threatening. So you tell me if Royce the Five Nine and spit them same bars, niggas won't have a problem? No. No? No. Not at Britney Spears and fucking In Sync. Like, yeah, yeah, like but that was the Aguilera. only people he was taking shots at. Who else was success at? Oh. Uh, cannabis. Cannabis. That was later. That was after. That was they were walking the club and spray puffy with Mace. That was after niggas was taking shots at him. No and way. that was funny. Yeah, that shit was still comical. Going, but it was comical, comical shit. shit. And he was on by then. He was wearing a Batman Robin outfit and shit and doing the dance right. while he was dissing so, niggas. So you don't think fun. how the comical. Robin was comical? <laughs> yeah. I, Looking I, back I, at I, it. I, okay. How the Rob was... Uh, it was kind of good. It was fun and comical. It was. Yeah. It was a, supposed to be satire. Right. You know, like they people still do the kind of right. high rob kind of records. So I, I'm not I'm not saying anything that went when he took aim at me, it was a different thing. That's what I'm saying. 
What was the angle for that? <clears throat> to get you your attention, were, maybe? Maybe the same angle that it was for people that you was almost in a group with. You're confusing me now. I'm not, I'm a, Competitive nature. Yeah. The competitive nature, nature of rap. Maybe because you ain't do this song with them. That, that's not competitive. Nah, 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 that's nah, not nah. competitive nature. That's not competitive. Right. It's not. not competitive. competitive nature is, I'm going to go and bust this nigga's ass. I'm going to get on the charts, make these big records, and bust this nigga's ass. That's the way I compete. That's the way I think. I, you know what? I never thought about X and J. Like, I wanted to go shit on X and J to get niggas to fucking recognize me. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, like, come on, man. Yeah. That's, that's goofy shit, my nigga. Right. You ever thought about doing that? You ever thought to make that your shit, your thing? It's goofy <laughs> shit. Nah, it's goofy nah, shit, and you go know it. I'm going to tell you it's what. It's goofy Hold shit, on. and you know Hold it. It's through your man, though. It's goofy shit. It's goofy shit, it's goofy I did shit fall back. and you know it. Benzino, Benzino wanted me to diss Eminem, and I was like, I can skip the shiny suits right now and just do this. But I fell back because I was like, yeah, this shit getting too personal. I ain't, I ain't nah, because it was Eminem. It was the juggernaut, nigga. <laughs> I, went, I did that, though. I don't give a fuck. I did that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I right. did that. Right. From, from, a, did that. from a fan's perspective, you know, at that time, <laughs> I think this is how I saw it. Because um, I was heavily involved in, you know, you guys at that time. That's my generation. Um, <laughs> I saw it like this. Um, like you just said, you did the shiny suits. You was a superstar, man. I didn't do the shiny suits. No, yeah, yeah, you, you, you had the black leather with the little shiny. No, <laughs> I didn't do the shiny suits. I'm a great, great I'm black leather. I didn't do the shiny suits. I'm gonna tell you. 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 You did the Bob Mac. Shirt off, I'll take that. You did the Bob Mac. 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 You did, the classic, <laughs> you did the classic Bob magazine with the leather suit, and it was. I did not. You did, I bro. Did you did. My Bob yeah. magazine cover. Maybe was, it's not Bob. Maybe I got the wrong magazine. What was the magazine? I never that did no magazine was on the cover, front with, cover with, with the whole leather suit on. Oh, that was Bob cover. You right. I, I, had to, I had to. I had to. Bro, yeah, come on. Yeah. And you had to bear with though. me. Yeah. Bear with me. We yeah. the same I was, age. I was, <laughs> I was honestly. Me and you the same age. Me and you the same age. I'm just trying. I'm just, trying, I'm I'm just giving you the perspective. But that's not shiny suit. That's love, nigga. I'm just giving you the perspective. I'm giving you. Bro, I'm giving you the perspective of what took place in the street. All right, all right. I want to hear. It's for a dude in the room that is your age. That ain't that Yo, I mean, all right. So what happened was now you talking about that at that, that time, one, that yeah, 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 that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I give it that, to you. That, yeah, it was yeah. that. It was 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 that. But this yeah, is nigga. what this is what Yo, bro, I saw bro, you look like, in the street. Let me tell you something about that photo. <laughs> right. Let me tell you something about that photo where niggas don't know. Thought you were Cisco for a second. I thought he was KC. Nah, let me, let me no, tell you something was, about that photo. Like that. Let me tell you something about that photo that niggas don't know. At that moment in time right there, I was doing something that niggas ain't never did. Not no artist ain't never fucking did. No rap artist. Mm. I was writing records for fucking rap niggas. Going top 10. Mm -hmm. I was writing records for R&B mm -hmm. artists that was going top 10 and pop artists that was going top 10. Number one and top 10 in all three genres. Sexy suit. Put the sexy suit. Put the sexy suit on. Put the sexy no. shit on. No. I deserve to put the sexy shit no. on. Like, oh, I man. do. You like, know. Niggas, niggas want to nitpick and little shit. Right. And niggas right now is wearing fucking purses and bags and shit. Niggas love it. You was but a But niggas want to nitpick me in a leather jacket and a leather suit. Stop it. Right. Niggas was, niggas was making excuses for the fact that y'all was tricked. You got to get put y'all in the trick bag, and niggas fell for the trick bag. Well, what nigga. was the trick this, bag? I'm going to tell you, nigga. Uh -huh. He told y'all that ice cream was fucking terrible and sold all you niggas ice cream. That's what the fuck he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. lost the power. That's what the fuck the, he did. What nigga. he lost the power. That's all I'm saying. Preach different. And you niggas need ice cream. The point, the point, I love this yeah. ice cream. Rule ice cream nasty, though. You know what I'm saying? At that time, 50 Cent came 
to the rap game, and he used, yes, no, he he, used he, something he that you was in, using I'm gonna tell you in a gritty though. way. Stop it, And man. that gritty Stop way it. is what, no, it's, I This can't. is more excuses. What gritty way? I can't. I can't. I can't. 21 questions is gritty? No. No. No, no, no that's not what he's talking about. 21 is way after. 21 way after. That's way after. That's second album. That's way after. What are you talking about? 21 questions. Yeah, he 50 Cent had a career way before. We ain't going to debate. We ain't going to debate this because he done came out and said that he did this shit. Listen, I'm exactly. I'm not. Listen, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, here's what we as human beings have a tendency to do. We don't like to be wrong. So, niggas was duped by this nigga. It's okay. Niggas don't want to say it and admit it, but it's facts. No. Even if you was hold tired on, of hold on, hold on, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, let him go, let him go. You wanted grimy music and this nigga gave you The fuck. game, the game, dude. This, this no, no, nigga. stick to fit. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm on 50, yeah. the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, you wanted grimy, you wanted grimy music. 50 gave you in the club. And then he went and gave you mad female orientated records. Sure. It was what he did before that. Sure. No, 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 no. But, but here's the. Ah, man, y'all in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you from my perspective, <laughs> this is what I wanted. From the time I want peace and unity in hip hop. Yes. That's what I want, man. Yeah. 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 You know what? I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. Yes, we all want that. But you like battle rap. I didn't start yeah. the bullshit. But you like battle rap. But you won't squash battle it either. Rap. Right. Huh? Yeah, okay. You didn't yeah, start exactly. the bullshit. No. But you won't squash it either. And I'm not good because I didn't start it. And listen, and I didn't start it. And nigga, I don't continue it. Nigga, I mind my business. I go about the business that pays me. You know what I'm saying? It's this nigga. That's fucking living. I live rent free in his head. Every time he gets a moment, any kind of moment, he gets on a talk show. He fucking and he's a fucking he's a fucking compulsive liar. If y'all niggas don't know that this nigga's a fucking liar, he's a compulsive liar. He gets on fucking okay. I'm telling you, he gets on the talk show and the nigga says, "Yo, well, he's comical." Oh, 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 let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Yeah, I was a comical. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He gets on the talk show. He gets on the talk show and he says, "Yo, he says, uh, Stephen Colbert." What's I love Stephen Colbert. That's my guy. Mm -hmm. Stephen Colbert says, "So, uh, you did something to Ja Rule." Yeah, I brought I brought the tickets to the show. What show, dum dum? Show receipts of the show you bought tickets to. Where there was, a, you want to see my Instagram and look at my shows, nigga? What, what show? What fucking show? And there was no footage of the other MDC. This nigga's a yeah. clown, man. He's but, a fucking clown. And y'all fell for the banana but, but in the tailpipe. Y'all slipped on the banana. No, no, no. And everybody he's slipped on the banana. He's what we call a troll. Absolutely. He was the first troll. He was the first troll. But listen, like I said, I'm all about love and unity and hip hop. I love everybody. Can, can I tell you what I want? Love, love. At that peace, moment, peace, love, love. when I heard <laughs> nobody likes me, I was waiting for your response. Then that what? guy that I heard on Murder Grand with Dirty Hove okay, and, I, can I, can and DMX, okay, can I, can I was waiting can I frame for it? Ja Rule to, frame to it? say something back. You want me to frame it? To grind. You want me to frame it? My fucking label bodies, but they went through a federal indictment, my nigga. Mm. What the fuck am I supposed to say? What would you say? We gonna clap back. Clap back. That was bad time. When I came with my disc records, we was in time. It was all right. Go ahead. Let's let's. You know what I'm saying? Do I? You saw him as a as as someone to go back and forth with at that point. Nah, no, no. Hey, listen, it, you know, I'm hearing you know ripples from the from the from the people, and it like, yo, why you not responding? Why you not responding? And I'm looking That's at how my we niggas was feeling. like, nigga, I want to respond, but my niggas is like, please, look, we are going through real shit. This is goofy. What was shit. your gut telling? Don't you? respond. My gut, I, nigga. Come on, man. I, 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 I just told you I'm competitive. I want to compete, nigga. This ain't nothing but rap shit. 
I'm not worried about any of that shit. Right. It's rap shit. I want to compete. I can't. I can't compete at the moment. I can't. This is, this is bigger than rap right now, man. These is niggas, my niggas' lives on the fucking 20 years. So what am I going to get on the records and start talking about? Yeah, nigga, we, 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 we was in the hit factory. We poked you up. What am I talking about? Shit that these niggas may use against niggas in court. I, I, what am I talking about? So I, 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 you know, I, I fell back. I fell back, and I fell back probably, definitely too long. Too long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I get it. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm, I'm cool with everything and how it happened. I you honestly am, and when I say that, I know niggas like. Nah, oh, man. I, I, I know you are, but man. I am because here's, yeah. here's what I here's what. Here's what you don't realize. I come from nothing. I came from the bottom. And so when you don't have nothing and you, you know, ascend to what I've become in, in this music business and, and, and being able to take care of my family and put my kids back on shit, I, I've never been uncomfortable after the day I fucking started fucking rapping. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Even right. this rap beef with niggas is like, oh my God, if I were, <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't want to be Ja Rule right now. Let me tell you something, my niggas. My niggas at home. If I woke up with your hand, I'd cut mine the fuck off. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right. I, I'm not uncomfortable, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm chilling. It's good. Like I, Everybody's success is their success. You understand? Right. My right. success is what is for me. Right. It's what God is placed there for me. Right. I don't watch another man's pockets. I don't worry about what other niggas is doing and other niggas got. I set the trends, nigga. I do what I want to do. If I say this shit is fly, guess what? It's fucking fly. And you don't have to think that. I think that. Right. right. That's the point that people don't get. People think when, it's, when a person has self-confidence and a supreme confidence in themselves, they think that you want them to follow them and be like them. I really don't. I'm being like me. That's it. And if you think that's cool, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I don't ask anybody to do what I do. Right. Other than the niggas that I fuck with, and that's my family and my kids and, and, and my, my people, that's my you know, immediate circle. And they know me, and they know I would never ask them to do anything that I have not done. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And that's how I lead. And niggas love me for it. And then, then, then you ain't never gonna meet a nigga that met me, that know me, that fuck with me, that's gonna say no foul, fucked up shit about me. And that go from prison to the streets to anywhere I've been. That's just real. You can't say the same for that nigga. You cannot say the same for that nigga. Right. Everywhere he goes, he muddy the waters, nigga. And niggas don't fuck with him. You tell me why that is. The smoke this fire, nigga. That, 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 that nigga's a fucking rotten piece of shit ass nigga. And that's what he is. And it's fine. You know what I'm saying? It's fine. He can make his money and be, you know, what he is and everything. What I'm saying is, I'm, I'm beyond all of that beef shit that we've been, it's been 20 some odd years. We've lived it. We've been through it. I don't, I, you know, I hate having to keep reliving it through interviews and, and, right. and shit because, nigga, I don't, I, I don't feel, I don't feel wavered by the shit. I don't feel faulted by the shit, but people want me to be. You know what I'm saying? People want me to sit in this seat and be like, oh, man, yeah, you know. Nigga, what? But it feels nah, like a right. part of the narrative still irritates you. It does. It feels like it, it does, yeah, it nigga. Like it does. Well, I heard imagine, you. imagine this, imagine this, imagine this. In the game of hip hop, where where it's, it's dog eat dog, modern mom. And the nigga that everybody is saying did this and that and the third and beat you and, and you scared of and all this other wild clown shit, right? <laughs> nigga, I felt no pressure from this nigga at all. And in the streets, we, we, like I said, with dog eat dog, modern mom. He's the one that's been the victim on the, on this on the, on this thing. Not me. I'm not, nothing has ever been to happen to me. How did I pull up here tonight, nigga? Don't know. Well, 
What are we talking about? Man? No. I'm just trying. I'm just trying. Right. I'm just. That's all. That's that, you, you, you framed it. That's all. I'm saying. saying. I get it. I you know what I'm saying? It. But but that's what I yo. So you you motherfucking right, nigga. I I don't like the narrative because mm-hmm. it ain't true. Right. It ain't real. It's 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 all made up shit. That he he did a great job at marketing the narrative. Mm-hmm. He did. Right. I give him that. He wore the best. No, he did all. <laughs> <laughs> what else we talking about, man? Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> what was man. What was, Yo, it like? man. Hey, what was it like when you got that call from Farrakhan to dead the whole situation? You know, when I got the call from Farrakhan, I thought that was a really dope uh, call from the minister. And all respect to the minister. I love, I love the minister Farrakhan. He's a great man. You know, um, you know, it is. It, his, 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 his intentions were pure. Hmm. You know, he, he, you know, he called to try to, you know, bring peace to whatever it was, but it wasn't a, a, a peace treaty per se. He just wanted to meet with us, sit and talk over our differences. Oh, he was going to get you there though. I mean, not. Yeah. But when the minister calls you, you respond. You, you don't turn down. Right. Right. Did you turn him down? I, I went. He went. went. I went. He went. They both. No, he went. No, Fifth no, day didn't show up. This nigga didn't show up. Nigga, another. Come on, my nigga. What are we talking about, man? Mm. It's not stand up nigga shit, man. There's another time we were supposed to meet. Cream and Chaz put the meeting together. I come, pull up at the meeting. Nigga ain't coming to me. Murr. Niggas is tight. Chaz is tight. Prem is there, you know. He, I, you know, Chaz, working out rest of the day, he's probably feeling a little embarrassed. Like, yo, my nigga ain't show up. Your nigga's here. You know, it's a respect thing when it comes to the OGs. Right. I asked y'all to come somewhere to meet so we can put this thing to bed. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. I ain't want to go. You know what I'm saying? This was after the hip factory shit. You know, this was, you know. See that transpired. Let, let me rewind a little bit. Why did the hit factory shit happen? <laughs> this is the, because the Atlanta shit happened. The Atlanta fight happened, and then after the Atlanta fight, he came home with more lies. I did this to Jaro. I did that. Nigga, no, you. Nigga, this thing's crazy, man. Well, something happened. So, if you felt like going after him, he's running his mouth, man. Yeah, he was saying he knocked talking, him out. Yeah, he knocked me out. He did this all the time. Nigga, what? And what what world is what are you talking about? Yeah. So I was like, okay, I got I got to, so I I got a little call to where he was at. I happened to be in the vicinity and I went and seen him. That's it. Simple. <laughs> boy oh boy. It, it, it's so funny, Matt, because I, I'm I'm telling you, man. You remind me of <laughs> a, a, a something. Who I remind you of my nigga? <laughs> So when I when I came to this battle rap thing, I took a lot of this shit seriously. Yeah. And I feel like I overdid it sometimes. And I turned a lot of people against me. I did that too. I did that too, because here's the thing. Here's what really happened after the situation, right? So, you know, he was just he was just talking, but there wasn't no action happening. He wasn't doing nothing to nobody. When we start doing shit, the industry got like, oh, standoffish on us. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, these yeah, they don't like that shit. They don't like that shit. You're going to cost somebody money. Yeah. You're fucking up the money. So, <laughs> what else are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Because I can go so many places, it's so it's, it gets so deep, nigga. Right. All of the sucker shit that this these, that this nigga was doing, and it's not just him. It was these. It was a fucking plethora of niggas working against job fucking rule, nigga. What did I do for everybody to come back to come back to God like that? What did I do to these niggas, man? What you did was with J Lo, nigga. What you did was J Lo, nigga. What you did was. 
You was on fire. <laughs> no, exactly. no, was, no. Was Stop. What he did was he what I do. had a Grease theme in that last video with Ashanti. Okay. <laughs> Grease. All right, that was terrible. Oh, right. Everybody, <laughs> nobody wanted to see you do that. You want to see me go do that record in front of twenty thousand people? No, I don't doubt the impact. I don't what's doubt the impact. So what's, so what's terrible? I don't doubt the impact. So what's terrible? My it, nigga? it removed it. What's terrible? I'm telling you right this now. This is twenty years later. I'm. Well, we're all reflecting. We're I'm all just reflecting. saying because none, just, none of it. No, I'm saying. I do that record. Nah, I do. man, man right. if, if you going to go at that, that if you record, let me you got to go at that AO technology finish. shit, bro. I'm not, bro, I'm not, I'm not talking. <laughs> on, I feel like that he was a certain point, nigga. too, man. He asked Come me on, what nigga. the fuck. Oh, God, y'all are killing me. <laughs> Everybody has their time at the top. 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 Everybody has that turning point right. when they're no longer at the top. It was seen, the narrative is that 50 ushered him out. The other narrative is that Kanye ushered him out. No. Uh, Kanye ushered him no, out. No, none of these narratives the are true. I didn't say they were true. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just telling you what the I'm narrative is. But yeah, these are yeah. I think, I think everybody has their time at the top. Absolutely. And everybody's time ends. Absolutely. And it's just a matter of how it's going to end. When you're on top too long and people get tired of seeing you winning, people start making, people this is, this is need to get you out unfortunately very true. Yeah. I've always, niggas get tired of seeing niggas win. It happens in everything, in sports and whatever. Niggas get tired. Like, all right, these fucking niggas is winning too much. I want to see somebody else win. It happens. Everybody. What's, what's yeah. the whole line? It's hard being Bobby Brown. To be Bobby then, you got to be Bobby, Bobby now. now. That's here. Well, that's Eventually, not, that's you not have 100% to be, true, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, no, it's not, nothing's 100% true. However, Ja Rule did you gotta level Uber up. commercial. You got to level up. Oh, did it what? The, the, the commercial where you pretended to be driving Uber. With oh, by fucking, the way, give me five stars. Make sure you give me five stars. <laughs> with fucking, wasn't it that shit with like Peyton Manning and fucking... Yeah, no, it was, shit was... Hey, stop, man, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I can't believe you brought that up. Man. What are you yeah, talking about? You know what I'm saying? Stop, 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 man. Just stop. Man. Just stop. Man. Just stop. Man. You want to let me finish? Just stop. Man. I'm in there with fucking professional athletes, <laughs> nigga. Top professional athletes. What are you talking about, man? See, this is the shit I'm talking about. What, what shit? When, when, when people have. <laughs> Yo, what, crazy. what shit? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now. Tell we me. do it every fucking day on social tell media. Tell me. I'm totally right. When people like somebody, they make excuses for the guy they like. When they don't like somebody, Everything they do, reject they deposit. This is what we do to fucking people every day, all day on the internet. You don't see it? You don't see it? Am I bullshit? No, you know. No, that's okay. a fact. All right. So this is what you're doing right now. Everything that you're rejecting doing? all of my shit and giving 50 props on his shit. He got a lot of bullshit he be doing that's too. That's not what I he did. He just said AO technology. That's not what I did. That's not what I did. Okay. Give that's me what not you did. that's not what I did at all. Alright, what did you do? And if you weren't jumping out the chair, <laughs> you'd have heard what I said. <laughs> what you did. What you did. I think what you did. I thought that it was brilliant that you did that commercial, pretending to drive Uber. I thought it was real classy at the fact Did that anybody after, think that's where he was going yeah. with that? If you'd let me finish. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna I was confused for a second. We'll make you never know, bro. If you'd you let me finish, you know why did I you going. do the commercial? I never said why. I never actually you said you, you, then you did. You I said, then never you said, did. we can rewind right, it there. Right, See, right. you listening my, with my the money. The video tape. You got them jaded my ass ears. Right. You got them jaded ass ears. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I, right. You asked me a question about the Uber shit, and, 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 and we all know it's been a fucking joke about the, the Uber. Okay, that dumb dumb made. You know what I'm saying? So, no. we, 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 I don't, so I don't, I don't consider the joke, y'all. I thought it was cool oh, that you did that commercial. I thought it was too. That's why I did it. I thought the fact that you can laugh at yourself. I thought the fact that you are so was, comfortable in a, your own skin that you can do a commercial right, like right, this and right, not right. mind anything that like that took nuts. And I thought that shit was I, when you did it. I was like, hey, yo. I, and nah, it, stop, it, 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 stop. It, that took it, nuts. You stop right there. Yo, it didn't really, it didn't really take that much. Bro. I got. I got to ask though. Like, it didn't really take that much. I this thought point, it, I could tell you a hundred times other things that took way more nuts than doing a fucking Whoa. commercial with big Whoa. football stars and getting paid a lot of money to do it. I can tell you a lot more things that I've done that, that that's nut worthy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Well, all right. Now we're getting to well, I, Hey, <laughs> listen, man. I don't play the, I don't yeah, play the pause game. It, I'm it, unpausable. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just for the record, I'm unpausable. Yeah. I say all kind of wild shit. We be playing in here. Like what? Like what? Like what? 
Like, like nut worthy and, and you know, no, like no, like, like oh, what? You come up, you oh, oh God, boy, you can't like say nut worthy, my nigga, like that. <laughs> 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 you don't get the way nut worthy, my nigga. Like, come Yo, on, my nigga said that. You want to do a hundred times? He's gonna be pausing the shit out of this right now. But I'm not. I don't. I don't play the pause game. I, and, oh. and I was around when it started, and I didn't play it then either. You can ask everybody. Okay, we'll, we'll take right. away that word. We'll say guts. Guts. Thing, it, I think I, I thought that took guts. All right, cool. You said there's a lot of things you've done. Yeah, that, a lot of more than like, like, a lot. Huh? Like? <laughs> a two-year prison stint. I can just stop there. You know what I'm saying? Because knowing the reason why. Like my, like, like my nigga is, is <laughs> who, all right, I'm gonna ask you a question. Right. I've been through a lot as an artist. Mm -hmm. Some would say, I would, I would say that I've, you know, the things that I've been through are very minuscule compared to things that people are going through. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But we live in this small box of entertainment and so, Mm -hmm. Everything's blown up out of proportion. So this happens, this, this Ja Rule, oh my God, if this happened to me, it would be the end of the world. It really wouldn't be. But, you know, everybody likes to paint that picture. I don't, I don't see, you know, the things that I've been through as hardships as people see them. I see them as things that I've been able to learn from and grow from. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm able to come out on the other side of this shit. Like I know, I know a bunch of niggas that would have folded in my position on many on many occasions. Yeah. Through the beef shit, through the trial shit, through jail shit, niggas had plenty of times to say, you know what, I just shit, hey, nigga, I'm good. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't, I don't have that. And people get mad at me for having supreme confidence in me. Hmm. Imagine that. Oh yeah. Mm. Imagine that. Don't have to imagine. He preaches to the choir. Yeah. Don't have preaches to imagine. to the choir. Be because <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Because people like to project their personal shit on you. That's a fact. They could never do the shit that people do. They could never. When they look at athletes and, and, and great shit that Michael Jordan has done, they look at that as miracle shit. Like, I could never do that. You know what I think? I think if I trained hard enough, <laughs> in my yeah, career. Yeah, yeah. I could have been fucking Michael Jordan. That's how I think. It may sound nuts to all of y'all in this room. Nah, I don't But not like me. That. And that's how I'm able to keep fucking growing and striving and being. And a lot of people don't have that. And I say it all the time. When I do, I do, I do talks, man. I do fucking talks to, to business conferences, Forbes, all that shit. They sit me down, nigga. I, I talk to fucking... Real shit. And, and you know what I tell them? I wish I could bottle up my confidence and sell it. Mm. Because this is what people need. Right. They need that. And they don't have it. Mm. And for whatever reason, I know successful people that are hugely successful that don't have right. self-confidence. Yeah. And I'll be like, how did you get this far? It's <laughs> You will know who they are when they fucking face adversity. You know who these people are when they face adversity, and that's facts. And I and I and that's why I ain't taking nothing away from the ops on the other side. He faced some adversity. He came through it. Kudos to you, my nigga. What I don't like is you drag other black people down doing it, nigga. I don't like that, and I'm gonna always stand on that. Mm -hmm. And if don't have any on the white and lights, don't you know that's cool, man. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. Right. You don't got to bring other black people down to succeed. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. And I'm always going to stand on it. I, I, I can't say this about you. In all the situations that you've been in, I can't say that you initiated any of them. Um, um, but then I've never seen you 3 a.m. coming out the club, so I don't know. I did. Whoops. You loud as fuck, right? <laughs> Live wire. <laughs> Yo, where the hoes at? We out. I, I, <laughs> I don't be starting no trouble. Man. I, be, I be minding my I business. Be on some do, do you think in our culture, it's, it's an insane, toxic envy that goes on? I think it is. I think, you know, I, you know, 
it's crazy with our culture because it's like it's that one at a time mentality. Like like two niggas can't win, three niggas can't win, four Somebody niggas can't win. Somebody gotta go in order for me to get on. Like that, like you know what I'm saying? It was set up right. that way. It's, it's yeah, been but, like I, that. but when we when we as a people wanna say, all right, enough is enough, enough of the trick bag. We had enough of that. We gonna do this the way we supposed to do it. You know, I, like I, you know, see, it's crazy. Like I, I you know, I hate hopping on when I went to prison, but everybody need to go to prison. You know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm nah, everybody do, but, but in a, in a way, hard pass. People do, man, because you you get a moment of clarity, and and, and you spend a lot of time with yourself one on one. That shit is important. That time that you spend with yourself one on one is important. At your I, weakest, I you're strongest that in God. People don't do that enough. At your weakest, you're strongest in God. That's what happens in prison and in jail. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people trying to go. At your weakest, alone at home. You're what's that? What's, what's that thing? In God. What's that thing you always say big about arrest? It's arrest. Right. God has put jail, penitentiary, whatever we want to call it, because ah. we have been moving in a certain way. I can't agree that with that. He has to nah, give jail us is, a jail rest. Is, I can't agree jail with that. Jail is a, jail is a terrible fucking systematic. When he give us that rest, we are able to now. It's very damn. I can't take allow you to say that. It's very damn because, because yeah. God's law and man's law is two different things, and there's a lot of brothers just incarcerated that don't, don't deserve it. Yeah. So according to Scripture, man's law is God's law. You know that. You know that. Listen, so, I'm, I'm according being to Scripture, I say everybody needs man's to go to jail. law. Nobody needs to go to jail. According yeah, to Scripture, yeah, yeah. according yeah. to Scripture, yeah. according, yeah. to scripture yeah. according to Scripture, man's law was set in place by God to keep us in order. And God said, if you do not want to fall victim to man's law, then follow His audience, and His audience will it goes into almost the same thing. Just so, said it best. Yeah. You know, Just said it best. Jail's a reality yeah. check. I don't need one. That. No, everybody don't need to go to jail. Everybody uh, uh, need to probably jail, jail listen to their parents yeah. and pay jail, attention yeah. at home. Yeah. But when you do not do that and you become a certain age and you become out, the, out from your parents, you have a ultimate parent. Listen, which is I your wouldn't father. Miss jail on nobody. That is not how your father is, is going to order. bring you into it's correction. Your father will bring you into correction by placing you under a rest to make you rethink about the life that you have been living. But, but that don't work for everybody. Mm -hmm. Some people's jail is out here. Some, some people's jail some is people's knowing jail their is homies the, ain't here no mentality. more. Some people's jails is knowing their family don't fuck with them no more. Some people's jails is knowing that they, they, can't take, they can't take care of their kids the way they want to. Some people's jails is that. Do they and they gotta figure that out. Do they figure it out at that point? Because it's, some do, all, some it's all arrest and again, it's at our weakest that we are strongest in God. So he will bring you at your weakest at any stage. You don't necessarily have to go to jail. He can make you broke. He can make your record Absolutely. career not go Absolutely. the way you think. Absolutely. He can make your whole reality in a way that you didn't think Absolutely. just to communicate with you. So again, that's just Absolutely. a record. Just right. to get divine communication. Right. Absolutely. I okay. feel like I've been through all those tests. Absolutely, you have. I got, you know, I got, I got Joe scripture chatter on my chest. Joe, like, amazing. Joe. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel like, you know, that's what I, you know, I've been we stripped. all Joe. You know, I've been stripped of, you know, the things that I thought were <laughs> important. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And God wanted to show me that that shit don't mean nothing. It don't. That's it. Yeah. That's it. These are the things that are important, and you should focus on those things. That shit don't mean nothing. All and, other shit and, and what you just important. said earlier, the love of the brother. So being that y'all both was in Jehovah Witness, I didn't know that. I did time in the Kingdom Hall, but y'all know I, what I do. You know, but <laughs> my my babysitter, I had a babysitter <laughs> who took care of me, and she, I had to go to the Kingdom Hall with her. So right. I'm on page with y'all. So I know y'all know the yeah. scripture. And it's important that we focus in on what we tell the kids and tell the people because they listen to us, especially you, Ja Rule. You know what I'm saying? We have to give them the right message that 
change must be made. And even when we were talking about John ja Morant earlier, we have to get down to what would make John ja Morant do this game in the car with the gun and all of that. What did he see? What influence did he have on him to His make company. him think that was cool? The company. The company and the things that's projected to him as a child over the screen, over television, over rap videos, over movies, over influences. Mm -hmm. The people that have influence, like Ja Rule, we have to let the world and the kids and the children and the people know the truth that, you know, that's not the way. You know what I'm saying? That we have to live accordingly, you know, that if we don't live accordingly, there is, again, an arrest that could be possibly made on your life. What do we say to the ones that don't want to hear that? You know, oh, the ones that we don't, the ones that don't want to hear that is going to hear it. You know, you Whether put it like inside, it yeah, you put it in them now and they hear it later. When they get sitting where they were supposed, where they end up going, as you guys speak about, right. it'll come back to their mind like, damn, OG said this. OG all the thoughts come back to right. their mind. That's then God starts speaking. My mama was right. That's what I kept saying. The lessons their parents taught them, the so lessons the pops. Kingdom Hall taught them, the yeah. lessons that they learned comes back to them to say, damn, I'm the prodigal son. I wasn't, I, I came from a good home. I came from a home where, you know, my parents took care of me. I'm a prince. What am I doing here? And the slumber was in the ghetto because and these all days, my they friends don't wanna, done left me once the money is gone. They don't want to be, they don't want to go be, back home to my father. The, the, the problem right. is they don't want it, the, the criteria has changed. We was talking about it earlier. In Jaws days, when he's walking in the Def Jam, he wants to be the best. Now everybody just wants to be the realist. Which is completely different from being the best. But I don't even think understand. they want to be the. I think they just want to make money. No, nah, they want to be the. They, they want to be the, the realest. Richest. Nah. Being the realist be richest. makes money nah. as far as they're concerned. Nah. And it's not even about bread because attention is the new currency. They get way more attention. They, they love attention way more That's than they fact. love money. That's fine. So they want to be the realist, not the best. But they think the attention is going to get them to the money. Yes. No, that's the truth. I, I'm not even sure if that's the case. No, they believe nah, that. That's they believe I, I, that. I used to think that. I'm not sure. That. That's what I'm the cloud chase sure. is about. Definitely believe that. The cloud chase is a new form of the paper chase. We used to call it yes. the paper chase. Definitely believe that. You know what I'm saying? They, they call it the cloud chase. That. But that's what it is. They, they, social media is so big. Just, just think about that. You could have one hit record, garner millions of followers, and then demand a certain price and fee because you have all of these people following you. Mm -hmm. It's a false sense of fucking fame. Like, it really is. Like, it's... it's yeah, because followers ain't fans. Definitely. Wait, wait, wait. But, but does that mean that the way, the way that it was when you came into the industry was the right way? Because when was, you look at it, when you look at it real quick, when you look at the independence that artists have now, did no, they own no that? Right it's different from how it was there's back no right then. There's no right or wrong way to, 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 get to, to do what you want to do. You want to get to the money, that's, that's your way. I can have my opinion on how you do it, but how you do it is how you do it. Every, everybody has their way. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So the artists these days, they have, you know, they have a bigger outlet to, to put their music out, you know, through, through Spotify or YouTube or whatever the fuck they want to do, content, all that shit. So they can grow way faster than we were able to grow back right. in the days. But we also had a bigger cash draw. Mm -hmm. not, only, not only was the cash draw bigger, but the, the development of artists was, was, was different. They, they actually- mm -hmm. I agree with that. Had a, they, they, they had a- a know, school for that. Yes, yeah, they, they, yeah. they had a reason yeah. and a-, and a you know, a plan, a five-year, ten-year plan to develop this artist to be a long-term artist. Now, they looking for a nigga that's already hot, already got a certain number of followers, you know, views, this, that, and third. Right. Let's sign him, give him some money, give him a deal. The bigger he is, the bigger and the amplify. deal. Amplify. Amplify. So now these niggas is like, I just need to get the followers up. I just need to get my... And it's all across the board. It's in fucking sports. It's everything. These college kids is like, I need to do, I'm getting an NIL deal. I need to get, everybody's, you know, on, it, it social media. It's yeah. some ill shit. Yeah. It's some ill shit. Like, yo, it's, yeah. 
It wasn't yeah. like that back in y'all day, though. You know what I'm saying? You had, like, you had to get out there with the uh, fucking... PR team. That, yeah. Yeah. Street, street team. All street that. team. All, all of that. Like, that, that was... It was you had to travel abroad. abroad. It was a no MySpace. It was none of that. You got to travel abroad no more to have a big old fucking fan base overseas. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I had to go over there. We had to go over there and touch the people, go vibe. Like, we had to go. You don't even see the posters no more. I remember there used to be posters everywhere, you stickers. There, nigga, you got a big follower. You, know what I mean? you go there. Niggas don't even do that no more. Because everybody play, walking around like this. Right. It's, it's a different time. And then but you had the units, the, the good. CDs, I, records. I, you know, it's good and bad. It's just like anything else. It's like everything else that, you know, has been introduced to us in, 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 in life. Mm-hmm. There's good and bad to it. And if you introduce it to human nature, you're going to have certain people that want to use it for fucking evil purposes and bad purposes. So there's nothing that's going to be invented that's not going to have, you know, that's not going to be the gift and the curse to us. Right. Not nothing. And so mm-hmm. you, gotta, you just got to take it. There's a certain balance with it. There's a certain balance with it. What's been your greatest moments in hip hop? Because you, like, you know, you... The greatest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't, you know, um, like your did most you remember did you even feel your most memorable the, the, moment. the moments that people think are your greatest? Did you even yeah. feel it when it was happening? Nah. I'm your young, most and, and, and memorable. We weren't, we weren't as aware of everything then. Well, I wasn't, you know, as artists now. Like, you know, I, you know, I, I get a number one record. I didn't even really celebrate that shit. Like, I, I was kind of disappointed when I got my first number one record because I didn't sell as many records as I wanted to sell in the mm-hmm. first week. Like, that was a big thing for us. Like, how many units you sold in the first, first week? week? That was like, you know, beating your chest and shit. You know right. what I'm saying? So you wanted to do that three, four, five hundred thousand first week, you know, sales. Now that shit is like unheard of. You know what I'm saying? But then that was, you know, the numbers you want to do. Or you want to do a million in your first week sales to really fucking tear the roof off and shit. It's not like that no more. But then, I, you know, artists weren't as conscious of their stats, of their, you know. The analytics. Yeah. 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 But you said you rap moments. You know, you that come in your mind. You know, it's, it's crazy because I, I want to I wanna really honestly, truly say that my finest moments is coming right now. Like doing my vibes concerts and shit with, with, with these. These niggas are my superheroes. Well, that's right? amazing. Yeah. So for me to... to 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 be able to do this with them and have and it, that that shit is like you 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 gotta see me in the crowd when they rocking nigga Karen I'm like yeah, I'm yeah. the biggest fan nigga I'm just yeah. singing yeah. jumping wilding like that shit is right. that shit is magical moment me and you grew point. up off of that yeah. according to our age but these, these they was my our niggas, these niggas yeah. that I looked up to yeah, like I want to be like these niggas they was our heroes so it's yeah. like you know though these hip hop moments right now are very special for me like I said. You know, winning awards and all that type of shit that I was doing, getting number one records, number one albums. I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't really understand the magnitude of it. Because one time I felt it. I would say it was one time I really felt the magnitude of, of having a number one album. And it was like for some stupid shit. I was um, um, Dublin, to be a spot in LA and shit, right? Yeah. So, so one week I go to Dublin and I couldn't get into motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And the lady at Dublin, Actually said like, you know, you know, John, we got bigger fish coming through here. That's it. That's it. That's it. Crushed my oh, ego. Man. I, said, I, said, I, said, yeah. I was tired. I was mad. But then Jay was coming in like right after that, and Jay seen I was struggling to get in. So Jay was like, "Yo, you know, I can bring you in, but I can't bring your whole crew in with you, bro." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, "Nah, fuck it." You know, I was like, "I, you know, I, I, I'm, just, you know, we'll go somewhere else." You know what I'm saying, boy? So then my album came out, number one in the country. Mm. I went there next week. I had like ten people with me. Bubbling in Dublin. <laughs> yeah, right. Bubbling in Dublin. Right, just like, <laughs> we, you just, I'm like, yo, let's last like we last you was week, shitting you on know. me. It wasn't literally last, you know, but it yeah, felt yeah, like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Probably you know, two, three weeks, a month, whatever. But I was like, wow, that's the power of having the number one album in the country, like in the country. You know what I'm saying? Not on, you know, whatever. But, and I didn't, I, I, that's when I kind of realized, like, oh, that's a big deal. Like, that's, like, really a big deal. Did you expect that? 
No. I didn't really expect it. I just, it, like I said, I didn't really, I didn't really, Jay and him understood the magnitude of that. You know, yeah. he was older than me, you know what I'm saying? I was right. very young when I got in the game. Man. I was 18. You know what I'm saying? I was a kid, nigga. I didn't give a fuck about nothing but just getting some money and having fun <laughs> and writing rhymes and that's it. Right. You know, very, very pure, very honest. And just, just want to do, just, just, just be a, a great artist. You know what I'm saying? Just want to be the best. Right. What's your opinion of the industry after everything that you've been through? You know, the industry is dope to me right now. It's, it's no different. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. It's very different than, you know, back in the days and, and, and what, I, what, what I'm used to and shit. But I understand that about hip hop. It changes every few years. Everything is it's different. It has to grow. That, that has to be, you know, the ebb and flow of hip hop. It has to fucking, you know, it has to grow. So I'm I'm not mad, you know. Is it growing though? In your opinion? Of course. I mean, when you when you see us doing hip hop is just basically running everything with the number one genre of music, you know, but we we mesh so well with everything, corporate, you know, all genres of music. It doesn't it doesn't matter, you know. So I, I think I think that it's not gonna stop. I think that's only gonna get bigger. Um, but I do, I do think, I do think, I do think we hit a, a, a little speed bump. You know. Um, what way? With, with just the, 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 it's just been very violent. Music's been real violent, and, I, and you, do you think that that's that's due to formula? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sound. It's a, if, if we had gangster rap, they got drill. Right. So it's a sound. But it was, but it's different. You had gangster rap. Yeah. And you rapped about being a gangster. <laughs> These niggas got. This is gangsters. I got Actually beef. rapping and shit. I got beef. <laughs> it's them niggas. We got a problem. When yeah. I see them, I'm doing this. And yeah. it's a constant beat of the drum for yeah. war. Yeah. Is that a byproduct of the attention and the record sales that y'all got during y'all beefs? I don't think so. You don't think so? Nah. No correlation at all. Maybe. Put your, put yourself on the on the highest Maybe. level of the music industry. Whoever's Maybe. up here. Hey, listen, I'm the first person to say hip hop is very influential on our youth. It's very influential. Very. Like. You know, we niggas follow trends, man. We follow what the hip hop artist is doing. I did as a kid. I'm not gonna sit in line and say I didn't. We all did. You know, kids do the same shit. So if drill is what's happening, and that's what niggas is following. It's 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 very it's very scary. It's dangerous, but <clears throat> it's gonna change. The landscape of hip hop is about to change because the female takeover is now here. Mm -hmm. And that's all you're gonna fucking hear. Because let me tell you something about corporate motherfuckers. They don't like to be scared at their place of business. They think they got real gangsters and real thugs and motherfuckers, whatever they want to call us, right. coming up to their stations and up to their corporate offices and shit like that and, and, and learning five weeks later this nigga done killed three niggas in here and this nigga. Trust me, all you will hear is female. The toughest rapper you will hear right now is fucking Scarlet, nigga. That's the toughest, That's the toughest nigga. Right. She the toughest, Don Dada on the block now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't, they don't like to deal with that shit. I got, I got a question. This is something that I've been thinking about for a while. And I watched past interviews with you and Irv, yeah. right? And I didn't see anyone ask this question. So. Um, you were signed to uh, Murder, Inc. and Def Jam, right? And Irv recently, a few months ago, whatever, sold the Masters, yeah. right? Now, how does that work business-wise? And I want to know because there's artists out there that need to know this, the answer to this question. Well, You're I mean, signed you know, to a label and whoever the label owner is sells yeah, the Masters. Yeah. Where does that leave you? Well, I don't like to speak on this topic because 
you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a regular artist. Okay. That's so what game can you give the artists that are getting into the industry or about to get signed as how to protect their intellectual property in a way where they could Well, artists are in a money. better position nowadays because they own everything. You put your shit out, you know, on your own, you own everything. Even when you go cut the deal with the label, nigga, I've been working this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, on my own. So it's about to go bag. So you ain't going to come and tell me you're going to give me X amount of dollars to take my whole shit. Right. So these artists are now still negotiating to keep their fucking royalties or doing reversion deals, whatever the case may be. But I'm a very different artist. I, you know, my my deals and everything that was set up for me was very different. Um, <laughs> let's just say I'm 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 good. Um, the deal was a dope deal um, with, with with my brother Irv. Um, I, you know, can still uh, go out and shop, you know, my portion of, of my catalog and my, my um, publishing and things of that nature. The so, reason I ask is because I know I see you doing shows, you got residencies in Vegas, yeah. you're moving around and you're, you, and you're, 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 you're performing the records that are your classics. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And to see Herb do that, I just was, cons I was wondering business wise, like how does that work? Yeah. Where you're still how able much to own well, well, you well, yeah. well, well, I own my part, my half of the records. Herb was just <laughs> his half of the records. Along with other, you know, artists that were on the label. Right. So, and, and, you know, Herb is also a producer, so Herb, did a deal for his mm. catalog and things he done, you know, <laughs> which, was, which was a very lucrative deal. Mm. I too can do a, a very lucrative deal. You know, I've, I've, you know, a lot of people been talking to me lately. I've, I've you know, been told that my catalog is, is, is very lucrative as well. <laughs> and so I, you know, I, but I, I'm not really interested in selling my catalog right now. I'm, I'm, right. I'm more interested in, in building what I'm doing. You know, like I like I, I said, I did a, a interview on Bloomberg uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I they asked me how would I structure, you know, my my deal if I was to do deal. And I told them I would probably do a reversion deal, you know, 30, 35 years, you know, and, and then they come back to your family. back to my family, you know, right. something like that. But I would still do maybe half of, of, of my you know, catalog, not 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 the whole thing. But you know, I'm not I'm I'm I'm, I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not really thinking about, you know, that right now in this moment. How do you feel about uh, five years from now, AI being able to create a new Ja Rule album? We're just talking about Trust that. Trust me, boy. I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's too early to say. You know, I invested in AI technology. I, I, I think it's amazing, but like anything else, it, it's bad parts to it. Yeah, it can yeah. be used for a lot of a lot of uh, bad things. Um, I think there's a lot of good use for AI technology, and I, I, I think you know in the future we're gonna we're gonna see how it pans out. But um, it's you know that that's all relative. Like like let's say you know AI technology makes the Ja Rule album, but you know, they're fucking paying a fucking shit ton of money to create the Ja Rule album and, and license in my likeness. And if it works in that way, I'm not, I'm sure people would be like, oh, fuck like it, make the Ja Rule album as long as I approve, and you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. I don't know. I don't know, what pe I don't know where this is going. I don't know if people are gonna want generated albums, but you know, it is, it is the, here's the, real, the reality of it all. It's only gonna get better. So whatever we hear and see right now, it's gonna get a lot better. So right. it's gonna be indistinguishable probably in the next five years. Uh, next five? Probably closer than that. You feel like a, a, a program could create your music? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And to some people, probably better than me. 
<laughs> if you didn't know no better. If you didn't know no better. If you didn't know no better. Or, yeah. or if the bar was lower, low enough that you could. Listen, man, you'd be surprised. We're talking about technology. We're talking about something that learns your algorithm, your, your, your cadence, your, your everything. Your vocal right. tone, your pitch. How do you protect against it? The law has to catch up. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if we want to. Sure, you do. I don't know if we, I don't know if we. It's a, it's already out there. I don't think we can. The law, the the law is always, the law always has to catch up to technology. Always. Yeah, the, well, the technology comes first, and the law comes second. But as long as it's generating money, somebody's going, somebody's going to have area. to get paid. Yeah, for it's now. A gray area. It's, it's, it's like, it's like a nigga doing. Fucking my color songs in Vegas. Like, hey, y'all can have you committing to a he's crime. He's getting paid with my that. likeness. Can't yeah. fucking uh, stop him. Uh, yeah, I mean, you you could. could. You could. You could. You're making it sound like it's, it's impossible. Could. One you injunction, could. one quick. cease and desist. You could try to do right. I, You know what? I don't even think you can. It gotta be a way. I really don't think you can. He because can. if you're a public entity, you're a public entity, nigga. If I want to fucking make a a, a a parody of you, I could fucking do it. Yeah. But what, how, some, do you, like, how do you turn go from being a public entity to a private entity and and protecting your idea? Like I said, it's a it's a great. The law has to catch up. Yeah. Why isn't there a rap union? A what? A union for rap. Because that's a good question. Artists don't want to pay. I think it would be a great idea, but you know how you gonna get artists to pay, and for what reason? And you know they got like shit like Astra and shit, but this is bullshit. But it's 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 hard to to get people to do that. It's different, you know, with with Hollywood. Very different. Mm. It'd be hard in the in the music and the entertainment industry. People have tried. It's no succeeded. Maybe you'll be the one to put it together. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, Rap I'm union. I'm cool. Yeah, don't put that on me. Cool I'm cool. talking about math. Oh, right. oh, oh, math, yeah, yeah. Put, put no that target on me, man. Put that, yeah, that's, that's Rap the union. Pay your dues. That's a dangerous Oh, thing. y'all, pay yeah, your dues. Shit. Commissary time. Mob, oh, mob, nah. nigga. <laughs> you say you rap every day. Yeah. New music? Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I'm, I'm probably the only artist in my era that, you know, made a lot of hit records and shit, but didn't work with like the usual suspects. You know, Swizz and Timbaland and mm. Pharrell and it's true. You know, Just Blaze. And I never worked with none of these niggas. Well, I worked with uh, Pharrell, but you know, I never really, we really did one record. You know what I'm saying? I never really worked with these guys. I mean, you know, I think uh album with, a collective of, of sound, you know, that I can put into a melting pot, kind of orchestrate. I, I, I think it, I think it'd be special, you know. My nigga Gotti give me some shit, and, you know. Get a couple from Swiss, and a couple from you know, Hit Nigga, you know, whoever, you know, just, you know, just really flooded. But I gotta go somewhere and and. And, and, and vibe. I need to go, I don't know. And just run out of spot for a month and just relax and vibe. And then have people come down and, you know, this we orchestrate it, you know, just, but, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be that. It's gotta be a body of work. You know, I don't, I don't wanna make singles. I don't wanna make singles and shit. Like, yeah. it's not how I'm used to creating projects and making albums. I like going in and, creating and just living with the project for a month, you know. <laughs> we used to have a thing we do, we'd be in the studio and shit, and I watch like all kind of inspirational shit on the background on TVs while I'm recording. So this guy does. Oh uh, yeah, in the studio and shit. It could be anything, it could be art. Yeah. Like I, I used to watch, I used to keep this shit called Exit, uh, exit Through the Gift Shop on repeat. Just 
Yeah, it could it, it could be a you know. Yeah. Do you right. feel like you answered your calling, or do you feel like you still a work in progress? Definitely a work in progress. You know, I realized not too long ago, maybe you know, years or so ago that I'm a creative first and foremost. That's that's what I am. Music was my entry into creation. Great, a great entry, really, and I love music, but I realize that I'm thirsty for creation. I'm not so thirsty for music or to make records as I am to create and, and, and you know, whether it be television, film, you know, art, you know, whatever, I, you know, fashion. I'm more in tune to, to, to all of these things that have to do with creation. What was it like working things. with Steven Seagal? He's dope. Steven is just cool. <laughs> Steven a wild boy, but he, he's fun, a lot of fun and shit. Does Ja Rule have an ultimate calling? Yeah, I, I believe so. You know, um, I think I'm getting into that a lot more. You know, I'm doing a lot of philanthropy work. You know, I just did a lot with um, HBCUs, donating to HBCUs. You know, I feel like that is something we need to dive into as a community of, of you know, entertainment artists and stuff. You know, um, there's not that many HBCUs. And there's no reason why those schools shouldn't be dominant schools throughout the collegiate. Is that the one that Bill Cosby donated? Yeah, he, I mean, he donated to, to, to yeah, different uh, HBCUs. Yeah. I, I mean, I know that. I just want the world to hear that. Yeah, yeah. But I, but I also, I've, I've been, I've been doing that. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of work working with the, 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 the youth and the city youth. And, you know, um, how do we make peace? Shit, if I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What do your heart tell you? What do your spirit tell you? I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't feel that would be really true, true peace. Why? Because you, you, it's, it's always a yin and a yang in anything. So if you got peace, and you gotta have. More. Eventually. <laughs> why did Cain kill Abel? I mean, why did yeah, jealousy. Cain kill Abel? Jealousy, yeah. but it's Abel, always been, that's but always going to exist. Yeah, so that's always going to exist. You think they loved each other? Fuck if I know. <laughs> Probably so. Do you love 50? This is what I'm getting at. My, my, uh, my brother on this side, he already on point. I want to give him my up. Now, I ain't going to lie, if that versus it went down, the internet would have exploded. Yeah, it would have dope. Yes, yes, It yes. would have fucking exploded. We all brothers in this. I was, I was, I was uh, quite, quite ready, prepared for that. We all brothers in this. But you, you know, got to make the song. I, I don't know. I, you know, you never know. You know what I'm saying? You never know. I just you never know. Yeah, not about us being friends or anything. No, that's I do know. That I do know. That's yeah, that's not never happening. gonna happen. <laughs> no, that's not possible. Uh, forgiveness no, but, of your brother. No, but listen, but here's the thing. Look, man. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You don't have to have be unified or have unity to have peace. No, but you gotta forgive. All right, I forgive. All yes, forgive. we all call, we <laughs> all call, we all call to forgive. I forgive. Yeah, I'm forgive. I yeah, know. yeah, we gotta I'm, forgive. I'm not, I'm not. Trust me, I'm, 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 I'm happy. Man. We all are manipulated. We all are manipulated in this world. We all get manipulated by the divine evil, and we get manipulated against each other. That's Absolutely. his whole trick. We have to all know, all of us in this room, have to know that that's the divine evil trick to set us up um, against each other. And once he set us against each other, we can't combine all right. to here's defeat a, here's, him. Here's a deep, here's a deep-rooted question. Mm -hmm. 
Why nobody never asked him none of this bullshit? If he was here, sitting no, they in the wasn't chair. fucking asking none of this shit. Here. What if we asked him about power and all this other mob shit? No, they didn't even no, ask him no. a snigger about not none me, of this bro. shit. Nah, no, no, that's no, facts. No, no, Niggas would not be saying, you know what? Bro. Yo, bro, we would not be out of job. I would ask. We would ask. No, we would. We would. Stop it. No, we would. Stop it. You don't watch the show. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. If you did, you would know. I'm the one that would die. I don't do that. He ain't never going to come now. You've been on the show. It's open now. Right. You facts. You are 100% probably right, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. Shout out to Pip. But <laughs> <laughs> he ain't coming, man. He ain't coming. But that's if fact, we man. had a chance, we would. If you came a little bit, we would yeah. ask you straight questions like we asked this man. That. We ain't with we, we we all of that. We get the exact you know? same. I mean, you, I you, yeah. cool with, you still cool we, with Joe. We not with that's all that. It was, it was with me at the um, shit last night. And Joe and him, they done. Pieced up their situation. That's them. They, they shit different though. They shit different. Exactly. They, that shit they different. Situation and that's different. them. Right. You know, like. How about indifference? If it can't be peace. There's no. Why nothing. not just indifference? Listen, but there is I'm indifference. I'm trying to tell you. But there's I wanna... no. I don't have no. Not, like, I, I have no nothing against him. I don't. Like, I, I'm dead serious. I'm dead, dead serious. I don't have no problems with, with, with 50. At all. This is all internet fodder at this point. Point. Hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The shit he says, the shit I say back, it's fucking internet bullshit. Do you laugh when he troll you though? Like this nigga. <laughs> I gotta laugh. What else can you do, man? It's like nigga, how old? When, you, when you was on the plane, <laughs> <laughs> he said he saw you on the plane. I feel like y'all gonna be 75. I know, you know, he's, y'all gonna run each other in the airport. Y'all nigga, he's, 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 he's in a beef by himself. It'll man. be he's a, a great trolling movie. match by himself. <laughs> I'm not. I'm too old for this fool. Y'all gonna take a picture together? He gonna give you the bunny ears. The I'm, too old. <laughs> I'm too old for the top man. I, I'm, I'm happy and I'm cool and he's good and he's happy. It's yeah. just, it's just, that's just his thing. That's his schnick. He likes to fucking, fucking poke everybody. He has something to say about every fucking topic. He might as well do interviews with Vlad every week. Shout to Yayo. That just happened. But. I got to say, it's rewinding back. Murder Graham. And to see where you took it from there. It was inspiring. Thank the whole generation. And in my opinion, the culture that exists now is based on partly your contribution. The, the the biggest stars that we have now. There's a Ja Rule formula. Absolutely, in that's true. Mm-hmm. All of them. I agree with them. Absolutely. And I think what you're doing with these legends and the yeah. stages. That's, I, you know, I that's, salute you, man. Thank you, bro. Definitely. Thank you, I salute brother. you. For everything you've been through, thank you're you, still brother. standing. It's, it's, it's Yo, crazy. Man. Hey, yo, listen, man. Just, hey. Instead of motherfuckers, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna just say this. People should look at me as a symbol of strength, and what it and what it looks like to go through adversity, to go you, through different turmoil, to go through ups and downs in this industry. Why do you think they don't? Because I'm sitting here. Because so. everybody thinks they can't, it can't happen. Hmm. Or these things can't. I, and I too thought the same thing. You think the baby thought that would happen to him? Wouldn't have said it if he did. Mm. Okay, we're going to go a different route. You think Travis Scott thought that would happen to him? Mm. These are completely two different things. Mm-hmm. But this is what the pastor said to me. And this is what he was talking about. You don't, life comes at you fast. You don't know where it comes from. You don't know how it's gonna go. It could be, nigga, it could be fucking the DOC. You lose your voice, your throat, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. DMC, the, the, this voice, but it could be anything. I think about that shit a lot. Right. Like I'm out on these roads, what if something's happening to my voice and I can't rap no more? 
can't even talk no more. All this other shit, you know, these, right, 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 right. You know, but you, you, you think these are things that we don't think about. We take for granted that it's just gonna be there for us. These, you know, our everyday regular lives and routines are gonna be a part of what we are, you know, able to do all the time every day. And it, and it can be taken away at any moment. And, and I know that because I've been through a, 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 a small taste of it. I can't say everything was taken from me, you know? But I can say the things that I deal, thought was on the top of my food chain was taken from me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, that, and, that, and, that, and that's, you need, sometimes you need those lessons. It's Job. Job. But, just like the story of Job, God gave him everything back to him. You know ten why? Because he stayed 10 toes down. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson all you artists out there. Hey, people. Job. When, Just do the feature. When Queens they, get the money. <laughs> we always, as guys in here, we always talk about love, women, marriage. Um, obviously, you're married. I would like to really have your take on what did that do for your life? What did uh, your wife do for your life? Whatever you yeah, want to yeah, share. And, and, whatever and, you want to share with shout shout out out to, on yeah, marriage. Shout shout out out to this room here. We go back and forth on that. You know what I'm saying? You know, what, motherfuckers you don't share. realize how important a good woman in your life is. It's very important. Because women, they see through all the bullshit. When niggas is jaded and, you know, they think something is this and that, women detect all that shit. You know, I don't really like this shit. I know that's your man and all that, but I don't really like that. Why you saying that, baby? Now that's my nigga. Yeah, all right. <laughs> right. And sure enough, not you, nigga. This nigga. Women have a certain intuition. They have a certain way of calming. You know what I'm saying? Warming. Nurturing. That men need to. Yes. I'm not talking about that you know, nurturing as a child. I'm talking about as a man, as men, and we, as black men especially. Right. If you don't got a good woman, nigga, supporting you and 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 and, and being your 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 other half, your best, get you one, get you a yeah, solid, that's a, a solid, a solid woman. Because I see a lot of niggas doing a lot of goofy yes. shit. And I be like, this nigga ain't got no bitch. He ain't got no. He ain't got no. Yeah. He, ain't got no he ain't got no woman at home. He ain't got no real woman at home. Right. Because she would be telling me, the nigga, what the fuck is you doing? No. Right. Even after I see niggas making all these goofy ass comments, like, like to this day, a nigga come in my comments and be like, ah, wait for fifty cents. I'm like, nigga, does your wife see this? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. Like real talk, nigga. Right. Like, that, it's like. You can't. There's no way. It's, you gotta be embarrassed by this. Like right, right. you hugging another nigga nuts. Like what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Both these niggas got way more money than you, nigga. And you right. over there. Fuck. What are you doing? Get off of Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like, brother, you know, I, I just it's get yourself a good woman. Man. It's very important. It's very important. I know my wife, man. She trusts me, man. She kept me out of a lot of stupid doings, a lot of stupid shit, man. Like, like, nigga, you're bugging right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And, yo, you need that. Sometimes we had we that. had a show with NLE Chopper, and we spoke about him, that women actually, our wives, actually save us. They save us Absolutely. from the darkness that we are being, you know, in, Absolutely. in with the demon of lust and several things like that. Do you believe that we got more than one wife? In a lifetime? No. At the same, same time. time? Um, no. Copy. How come? Why do you feel that? Because. Yo, leave me alone, all, bigger. I'm not bothering you, man. I'm my best I life, man. Listen, you my brother. You my brother. You brother. I just want to. Wow. Bro. No, I, I, I'm I, sorry. I'm to sorry. Each to each I'm own. sorry. Let's get to each other. But you should let me get to my next exactly. reason. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. 
I'm gonna try to block it. What is this been the double level? I don't know, but yo, I I, I just you know, it's, it's a lot to handle, man. You know, that's 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 my that's my. I mean, mentally. <laughs> everybody has it's their path. A lot, it's a lot to do it, but everybody has a path, yeah. nigga. I, listen, man. I always say if, if if me and my wife, you know, God forbid, we ever separate anything, I'm I'm done. I, I wouldn't probably get married ever again. You know what I'm saying? Marriage is. My wife hates when I say this, but I got two boys. I gotta teach them right too. But marriage is not a good deal for men. It's not at all. It's not a You're case. not married. How would you know that? Because I've, I've, I've gone to divorce court and sat in and watched. That is for the dude thing. that did yeah. not follow the script and did not do right. I'm not follow blaming it. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah women, I'm just women saying. Women initiate most divorces. I'm just you saying, know, man. You know, yes, know it's, it's, it's tough. It's a tough thing, man. You ever seen the movie, the Gucci? Movie Gucci? No. The, the, the Gucci family? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gucci family. Yeah, yeah. This chick got her hands on the Gucci inheritance through the son that she yeah. married into the Gucci don't even own Gucci. Nigga, do you, I, can you imagine that? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Like, I didn't fuck it up, but my I gave it to my sons, and these niggas that married some brothers, she took it all from the whole family. See, what? Bigger. See? That's crazy. That was bad, deci <laughs> that was bad decisions. That was bad That's decisions. Bad deal, it was bad man. decisions. But that wasn't a bad deal with Ja and his wife. Ja. Listen. Oh, I love my wife. And that's listen, my, I, I, my wife got divorced. So let's make that clear. I, I, his his wife is going to look at this. I, I can exactly. tell you this. I'll start over Not with his box. wife. I can tell you this. You know what I'm saying? Depending on the woman that stands with you, she can instill in you a confidence that makes you unstoppable. Absolutely. This is That's true, a, too. Absolutely. This is Hell true, yeah. too. Mine do it every day. Oh, and if yeah. you got two, then you got double the cost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. is. You got two wives. I don't know split. about this that now. Nah, man. Because the nah, one is going to start getting I just got jealous. my own belief. Oh, the other one. Yeah, 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 complications. Yeah, going off the subject. Yeah, yeah. Complications. You know what I mean? Solomon had many wives. I see many times. Again, how you connect with um DJ Don DeMarco? That's my brother. You know me and uh, Don DeMarco go way back to junior high school. We used to play ball together and anything. Don DeMarco. Don DeMarco. Yeah, that's, that's my, my brother. Nigga. That's my brother. Much respect. Yo, if you if you do do a battle league. Is Don DeMarco gonna be doing Absolutely, the Absolutely, nigga. <laughs> Shout to my man. Absolutely. Bro, he gotta do the Don DeMarco. Do, 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 Don DeMarco. But yo, who, who could I? Like, you need a host, right? At the battle joint. Yeah. What if I got. You think. He think about it, yeah. Man. But talk to me, though, because. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I tried to advise. But she ain't want to listen, bro. Oh, uh, sticky, rim? sticky. Rim? Yeah. How's that shit going? It's not. She doing. She doing a thing, but there's certain things when you've been in on the inside from the beginning of it, and you see where it's going. Like I see ways to fix, but you know, we're talking about it. Yeah. Well, yeah. The battle rap shit is dope, though. Is the dude. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. How does it make money? How does it make uh, money? That's, that's going to be a whole that's different. Old, no, ticket thing. sales. Uh, if you got your own platform, Pay or you could, you could create an app where Sponsors. people do a subscription fee. Oh, yeah, and I they got get to that see already. Like, right, yeah, you got, got that already. Yeah. So, but, but, so that's not what caffeine does. Right. No, and that's not what caffeine does. What caffeine does is they pay for the traffic to go to them for the live, but the actual battles live on the URL app. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. So they just paying basically the, uh, the second window. Right. But there's go a- Go to the URL, we'll, we'll pay for a, a, a- But there's a huge door of opportunity that nobody ain't taking. Can't talk about it on camera though. Nah, we can't. <laughs> and and yeah. that's off camera talk. Yeah. We, we love y'all. Yeah, we can figure something out, though. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, definitely. Y'all rule. You got a flight. Be with I be with I.